Hey y'all, it's Chris and Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks and today we're making delicious chocolate chip cookies. Uh, these aren't your average chocolate chip cookies. They're a lot like the Neiman Marcus cookie without the coffee. So I know you're gonna enjoy them. These are Chris's favorite cookie. Let's get started. Sit right back, the time is now. Tammy's gonna show you how to cook it up like mama used to do. Okay, first we start with two sticks of butter. That would be a cup of butter. And now we're gonna start with our sugar. We're gonna have three quarter cups of granulated sugar. There's a half cup and a quarter. And then three quarter cups of brown sugar. There's a quarter and a half. So it's a total of one and a half cups of sugar. You're gonna mix this till it's nice and fluffy. It's nice and fluffy now. So now we can start adding, we're gonna be adding baking soda, salt, vanilla, and then we'll add our flour, okay? And if you wanna know what the amounts are, all of our recipes are printable from the website. You go to the tutorial under the section that you wanna look up a recipe for, and each video tutorial has a title, and that title is a download button for the recipe. The dry ingredients that was in that little cup was baking soda and salt. Okay, now we're gonna mix this up until it's fluffy with the eggs. And then I will add the vanilla and the flour. Now you see how nice and fluffy that is? That's how long you wanna beat it before you start adding your flour. And now we're gonna add two and a half cups of flour. And we're using White Lily all-purpose flour. The only time I use all-purpose is when I'm making cookies and pie crusts. I use self-rising for everything else, pretty much. We have let this fluff up really pretty. And now the last thing we're gonna add is our oatmeal and our chocolate chips and pecans. And I mix up semi-sweet chocolate and milk chocolate. I do half and half to make these cookies so good. Okay, so look how this has expanded. You wanna beat it long enough that it's a nice fluffy cookie dough. And we're gonna put in a cup of this quick oatmeal. And look, you can see how small it is. Do not put, if all you have is old fashioned, then put it in the blender and chop it up some. We're doing a half cup of semi-sweet, and these are the mini ones. You, you can use regular ones, of course. But we like the minis. And then you're gonna use a half cup of milk chocolate chips. And then we're gonna put in some chopped pecans. I'm gonna put in a whole cup of chopped pecans. So there you have the oatmeal, the semi-sweet chocolate chips, and the milk chocolate chips. And boy, is this gonna be good. All right, we're gonna turn this on and mix it up. old coffee mug container 
and put your chocolate chips in them, put them in the pantry, and that way they're not in those bags. Um, I just love to do it this way. My kids used to go to the peanut butter ones and the butterscotch ones and eat them out of the container. But they're gone now, so I miss them. All right, you can see our delicious batter or dough, my cookie dough, and it looks good and fluffy and delicious. And if you're wondering, because Chris was even wondering, why the recipe says soda instead of powder, that's because when you make cookies, you want them to be flat. You don't want them rising up like cake, okay? Cookies are best flat, okay, and chewy, or even crunchy. Okay, we are going to get these out on our baking sheet, and I'm gonna use this big cookie scoop, and of course you could use a teaspoon if you want to. So I'm gonna put these out on the cookie sheet. And lots of times y'all ask me, what size is that cookie scoop? And then I never know what to tell you. All right, we had to spread these out a little bit because that's a pretty good size cookie scoop. Anyway, we're going to get these in the oven at 375 degrees. And I tell you to bake them for 8 to 10 minutes because we like them to be crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside. So I'll go ahead and set the timer for the first batch for 10 minutes and we'll see how they turn out. All right, this is our cookies after 10 minutes. And when they cool, they'll fall some, but these will be nice and chewy in the middle. And so we're going to let these, uh, I'm just going to put them out on a cooling rack. They smell so good. Yummy. All right, this time, I think I'm going to smash them. And this, this set will be crunchier. So these we're going to smash. You can put a little flour on your fingers first if you want to, but you don't have to. All right, let's bake these and see how they turn out. Okay, so we've got a nice little fat cookie, and we've got one that's a little bit more flat. And you can make them however you like them. To tell you the truth, they taste the same. These are really good, y'all, but we like them even better once they've cooled all the way down right out of the cookie jar. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and we thank you so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. See you next time. Love ya. To cook it up like mama used to do